Demystifying the period, common misuses and interactions. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to uncover the mysteries of one of the most fundamental yet often misunderstood punctuation marks, the period. This dot may be small, but its importance is massive. Let's dive into the common mistakes people make with periods and how to avoid them, particularly when they interact with other punctuation marks. Knowing these rules can enhance your written English tremendously. We all know that a period marks the end of a sentence. But sometimes, it's not so simple. A common mistake involves placing periods inside of parentheses or quotes. Remember, if the parenthetical phrase or quote forms a complete sentence, the period goes inside. Otherwise, it's outside. Let's see examples. 1. Correct. I love dogs. Who doesn't? 2. Incorrect. I love dogs. Who doesn't? 3. Correct. He said, life is short. 4. Incorrect. He said, life is short. Sometimes, periods must coexist with other punctuation marks. This can lead to confusion, but don't worry. We're here to clarify. Subsection 2.1 periods and commas. This one is tricky. In American English, periods and commas go inside quotation marks, no matter what. In British English, they only go inside if they are part of the quoted material. For instance, 1. American English, she said, I am happy. 2. British English, she said, I am happy. Subsection 2.2, .2, periods and exclamation, question marks. If an exclamation or question mark is part of the quoted material, it replaces the period. For example, 1. Correct, he asked, are you coming? 2. Incorrect, he asked, are you coming? Subsection 2.3, periods and colons, semicolons. These punctuation marks always go outside quotation marks. This holds true in both American and British English. Example, he called it a breakthrough. We called it a disaster. And that's it for today, folks. Understanding how to use periods correctly, especially when they interact with other punctuation marks, is crucial for writing clear, well-structured sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep writing, keep learning, and keep making progress in your English journey. We hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, happy learning!